Hello viewers all over the world. My name is uh, Apostle Heli Rudok and I'm coming to you on 101 this hour from Majesty Christian Television Network. It's a very special project we have today or talk show with someone that we respect so much. Help me this hour receive in the studio Her Excellency, the Ambassador of the Republic of Burundi to the Netherlands. No other person but uh, Her Excellency Ambassador Vestin Nahima. Welcome to Majestic Christian Television Network, ma'am. Thank you very much. Yes, mm. we are glad you are here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Her Excellency, uh, yeah. we want you to feel relaxed and then uh, uh, we know that you are equal to the tax, yeah. so you can bring out the best to yeah. us, to those who are listening to us. Yeah. So if you're out there, this is Her Excellency Ambassador Vestin Nahima from the Republic of uh, Burundi. Uh, that's the one representing all the people from Burundi here in the Netherlands. Feel free to give us a call on 020 uh, 3374160 should you want to interact with Her Excellency. Mm -hmm. Now your teaser questions. Yeah. Tell us the capital of Burundi. The capital of Burundi is Bujumbura. And uh, what type of government do you have? My government is a presidential one. And who is it? What's the name of your president? Yes, uh, he's in Kurunziza, Peter. What, which country is bordered to you in the north? In the north, we are with uh, Rwanda. South? South, we are with uh, Tanzania. East? East, we are with uh, DR Congo. And west? West, we are uh, with... Uh, west, DR Congo. DR Congo. Yeah. So, your major export? Uh, coffee and tea. Coffee and tea, wow. Mm -hmm. And your currency? From Burundi. <laughs> Va Burundi? Fran. Burundi Fra franc. Oh, Burundi franc. Wow. Yeah, we yeah. hope you have some franc Burundi for us. Yeah. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency. So now we yeah. go to our first question with you. Yeah. Uh, how, how are you hoping to serve your country and the people of Burundi during your tenure as an ambassador? You're already serving them. So tell us what are some of the things you are doing more. Thank you for your question. Yes, thank you. Uh, during my tenure as uh, the ambassador of Burundi, mm -hmm. I have expanded the scope mm -hmm. of cooperation between Burundi, mm -hmm. the host country, mm -hmm. and the uh, international organization present here in The Hague. Okay. During my uh, uh, tunnel, I have expanded also okay. the scope of uh, our cultural and uh, economic mm -hmm. cooperation. Mm -hmm. I have opened the doors of our embassy okay. to all citizens of uh, Burundi okay. and foreign requesting economic, social, cultural, and uh, counselor assistance. Mm -hmm. Over the past few months, a lot of negative press sponsored by uh, the enemy of Burundi has uh, sought to tarnish the good uh, image of Burundi, wow. portraying my country as a, a potential unstable country oh. mm -hmm. at risk of interethnic uh, violence. Okay. It is my traditional duty mm -hmm. of uh, an embassy yeah. to provide the public of world at large mm -hmm. with credible, verifiable uh, information about my country. Okay. Uh, I therefore candidly mm -hmm. explain mm -hmm. the situation mm -hmm. in my country mm -hmm. to the diplomatic community okay. and uh, uh, the public at large. Okay. Luckily, uh, the international community mm -hmm. and the committed friendly country mm -hmm. like the Netherlands mm -hmm. possess the capacity yeah. and ability mm -hmm. to verify and analyze the largest false reported that uh, were published against my country worldwide. Okay. So the result is that during this period, mm -hmm. the number of people coming to the embassy to request the visa yeah. to travel to Burundi yeah. actually in increased. Okay. This part in justified advisory, wow. sanction and uh, threat of sanction by some countries and organization, the number of investors from those countries 
and else did not diminish. Oh, so yes, <laughs> no, congratulations! Not, yeah, <laughs> not a single air flight to Bujumbura was cancelled. Okay. As a result of this false campaign yeah. and intoxication, yeah. foreign citizen and their investment continue yeah. to be protected and the taste institution have been fulfilling yeah. their democratically elected mandate. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Then congratulations once again. Yeah. So it means okay. that uh, whatever the enemy tried to uh, yeah. do to bring uh, your country down could not succeed. No, 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 uh, no. I didn't succeed. I'm sure your mm. president will be very, very, very proud of those that he is working with. Yes, I right. Think, um, so uh, our next question, Your Excellency, is uh, yeah. which new impact did you believe? that the African diplomatic uh, sessions here could and should be playing towards improving, improving life and social participation by its citizens within the European diaspora? Yes, a good question. Yeah. And uh, here in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. African diplomatic missions mm -hmm. met, meet yes. and exchange their experience on how best to improve the delivery mm -hmm. of services to our diaspora community. Okay. And uh, project the many commercial mm -hmm. and investment opportunity yes. that abound mm -hmm. in our continent. Okay. Africa ambassadors realized the fact that our Africa community within the European diaspora mm -hmm. is, uh, if sensitive, sensitized, yes. mobilized, mm -hmm. and uh, organized mm -hmm. can provide a, a panacea yeah. of, for uh, a myriad of uh, Africa development problems. Exactly. I think Africa diplomatic yeah. missions yeah. Uh, can effectively help the diaspora to organize mm -hmm. and uh, come together to provide a solution to Africa financially, economic, yes, cultural, yes, social mm -hmm. and political problems. We are really eagerly looking for that. Mm -hmm. Every one of <laughs> us in the diaspora, <laughs> we are really, <laughs> we are eagerly looking for a time when uh, the uh, the uh, African diplomats here yeah. will collaborate yeah. with us yes. in the diaspora to do something yes. uh, that is very, uh, yes, of course. that will benefit yeah. every one of us who are here yeah. and also benefit our home mm -hmm. country. Yes. Thank you, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. Now we move to uh, our questions on politics and economy. Somebody out there listening to this broadcast, we are having 101 this hour with Ambassador Vestin Nahima, who is the Ambassador of the Republic of uh, Burundi to the Netherlands. So in case you want to interact with Her Excellency, give us a call right now on 020-3374-160. She is live here on Majestic Christian Television Network. Very open to receive any of your questions and, uh, and your compliments as well. In the area of politics yeah. and the economy, can mm -hmm. you help us understand the, the, the reason for, for, for the often volatile political situation in your country, Burundi? Yes, of course. All right. It's a good question uh, nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the political situation in Burundi mm -hmm. has been misrepresented and manipulated by distinct interest aimed at destabilizing the country. Really? Yes. To understand, to understand the situation, I will state what the situation is not. Okay. The situation in Burundi is neither an interethnic problem, okay. nor uh, one capable of escalating in, uh, into an interethnic crisis. Okay. The three uh, constituting ethnic groups mm -hmm. of Burundi are well protected by the constitution of Burundi. Okay. And the Arusha Peace Accord. Okay. There shall never 
Evil again be an ethnic conflict in Burundi, okay. led alone genocide as some components of the international community were misled to speculate okay. early when the political crisis commenced. Mm -hmm. The political crisis in Burundi arose because of contentious okay. election okay. with the radical opposition after registering to participate decided to boycott and resorted to the use of violence mm -hmm. as a means of political uh, uh, expression. Okay. The contentious issue mm -hmm. in the election that was eligibility yes. of the president to contest the election were mm -hmm. decided by the Constitutional Court okay. of Burundi okay. and the East Africa mm -hmm. Court of Justice okay. in favor of the president's right to participate. Okay. Do you understand with me? Yes, I do. That Burundi is not even this. Burundi is not the one country that has had a contentious election. Okay, we know. We yeah. agree with yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, we know. For example, yes, in the know. U.S., there was Bush, Gore. Mm -hmm. But when the Supreme Court of the United States decided the matter, yes. not everyone wa wa was satisfied. It's true. It's but true. Yes. the rule of law prevailed and yes. everyone submitted to it. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Okay. That is how the rule of law mm -hmm. works mm -hmm. in every democratic society. Okay. In the case of Burundi, the Constitutional Court mm -hmm. and the East African Community Court of Justice yes. decided the matter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This judgment should be, I have to, to recommend. Yeah should be respected by those international organizations and democratic countries that believe in the role of law. law. And, uh, of, of course, I believe um, uh, your explanations are very, very satisfactory. And uh, if somebody is out there maybe having uh, a wrong notion about the political system, now they are hearing it from, from you. Yeah. who is representing your country here. Yeah. So, and that is very good because yeah. some of the things you've explained now, yeah. for me, I've come also to yeah. understand. But I, I wanted to ask, are you saying that there was no ethnic uh, uh, conflicts no. in Burundi? No. Are you not saying that the media was representing Burundi in a very wrong no. way? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we move to our next question. Uh, mm -hmm. Burundi is endowed with uh, many uh, natural uh, resources, yeah. uh, so, so, such as uranium, yeah. you know, nickel yeah. and copper, gold, and just to mention but a few. Mm -hmm. But uh, how can you explain now the, 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 the fact that uh, Burundi is uh, one of the five poorest countries in the world? How, 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 how is that happening? That after having all of these natural resources yet, Burundi is not a... Uh, uh, excelling uh, in the area of um, uh, economy? Uh, good question. Okay. Yes, Burundi indeed is uh, endowed with uh, all those natural resources mm -hmm. and yet is categorized as one of the poorest yeah. country yeah. in the world. Yeah. The fact is that Burundi is a, dub a double victim, double victim of its colonial history and its natural resources. <laughs> the first time Burundi knew peace, development, and some stabilized to enable the country to develop a policy of how to explore its natural resource. Yes. To develop the country and improve on the uh, the living standard of its people. Yeah. Was when President Pierre Nkurunziza yeah. was elected president. Yeah. Ectoa, the Dutch people will say Ectoa. You sure? Yeah, the Ectoa one. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, I'm very, very 
uh, easy to is very very easy to to demonstrate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, last years uh, there was an infernal cyclic to 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 kill the people. Okay. So now uh, since uh, he was elected, uh, he went through he went uh, through the development. Yeah. Unfortunately, they come to destabilize this uh, his uh, project, his program. Who are these people that are destabilizing the project? The one I told about the the, 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 the the colonial. What are you? Who are the rulers? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Explain a little bit to us. Oh, uh, you ask me. Yes. Uh, why yeah. we are uh, poor. poor? Yeah, exactly. When we have uh, mineral resources, mineral resources. A lot. yes, yeah, yes, okay. So I told that uh, the problem uh, the take uh, yes. resource mm -hmm. since the in the in the pandas yes after colon yeah colonialism. So I can't develop all here, but yes. I, I I I try to re to resume it. Yes, it's, it's mm -hmm. good. It's so, good. so one uh, one reason for the act yes of uh, hostility yeah towards him or uh, and the Burundi yeah. is to ensure that Burundi does not exercise its sovereignty over its natural resource for the Jesus. benefits of its Jesus. people. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is yeah, yeah. terrible. Yeah, yeah, because uh, because uh, the natural resource was in our uh, country. Uh, country, your own, uh, but your, not in, yet. The, in the soil, yeah, the yeah, soil yeah, of uh, yeah. Burundi. Yeah, but yeah. other people are tapping it, but uh, not yet be uh, explored. Yes. Why? Why? But uh, in this time when uh, Kurunziza was there, yeah, he thought about how he can tap it. And now he's destabilized for with uh, those who don't want to be developed. Yes, I, I think exactly. Yeah, that's sad, but wow. so <laughs> really, it is sad, but it really, is it is very very sad. Yeah. So, but um, is it that are you are, are you do you think when another president comes, probably yeah, yeah. Uh, that person will be very powerful enough to yeah. to break its uh, uh, the Uganda's. Uh, uh, maybe to break the stronghold of those who are exploiting the natural mm -hmm. the natural resources of Burundi. Mm -hmm. Even if uh, the other one come, once they put on place the system to explore it, yeah, it's uh, uh, already uh, finished, really? done. Yes. Yeah. We hope that uh, during his last mandate, mm -hmm. he will do a big job. Yes, mm. exactly. Mm. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you mm. for throwing lights to this. Mm. Wow. Mm. Okay, mm. Uh, Your Excellency, can mm. we go to uh, Burundi diaspora in the Netherlands mm. and at least uh, speak a little bit about that? Or do you want to? Are you? Have you finished? Have you exhausted the other point? Mm. Have you? Have you? Are you satisfied over the the answers you've given uh, so far? Or do you want to say more things? No. All right. Can it's continue good. about uh, the the other questions. Question, yeah. Okay, it's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, have our compliments for your beautiful performance mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, by your traditional dramas at the African Day mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, in Den Haag. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, can you tell us how mm -hmm. organized is mm -hmm. the Burundi mm -hmm. diaspora in the Netherlands? Mm -hmm. How organized are they? Oh, I'm happy to talk about the drama. <laughs> talk to you guys. Tell us a little bit. <laughs> the traditional uh, dramas that you saw yes. at the Africa Day yeah. in The Hague are but adopted version of the Greek dramas of Gitega in Burundi. Gitega? Yeah. Okay. Gitega is a province. Yes. When uh, born, uh, drama. Okay. This drama... Uh, drums symbolize the history of Burundi. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. The great Gitega dramas fit is performed at the very very site where the king okay. took refuge from the German attacks and attracted down 
thousand of people every year during its annual performance. Really? Uh, really. Oh, so... That's correct. So there's history yeah, behind yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome! <laughs> awesome! So the Tiga tribe refused the uh, invasion of the Germans, as yeah. you said? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no refuse. But uh, the king uh, went to refuse, to take a refuge yeah. uh, to this uh, seat, in yeah. this seat. Okay. It is an historic seat. Is it okay? Oh! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the 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 drum, the, 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 the that drum they were playing was representing that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there is uh, those uh, tree. Yeah. In which in which they uh, fabricate yeah. the drum. Yeah. They are there. Oh, okay. Mm, even when we say a uh, drama here. Yeah. It's from Gitega. Gitega. Yeah. Wow. Then they must be very. Um, Talented. Mm. The Tiga people are talented. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Very talented. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it now has been recognized by you, uh, even by UNESCO, as a world cultural heritage. Oh, That's so correct. last year, yeah. Really? Uh, really? Because I mean, everybody that was uh, at the. Uh, that African day really praised. Yeah. They really appreciated yeah. uh, that yeah. uh, that uh, that whole uh, dancing and the uh, drumming. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's why uh, in Burundi last day when uh, uh, drama they they play the drama. Yeah. Uh, in a long time it was for for king. For king, yes. Not for uh, everybody. Everybody. Oh. So now, because culture grown up, yeah, it change, yeah, it's dynamic, yeah. You know, now but they can uh, play it. it. They can play it, even for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, uh, your excellency, I think, I think if they play it just can, for you, I can be the the small king. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you, so when they were playing it during the African day, yeah. they were playing it for all of you, the excellency, yes. the diplomats that yes. were there. Oh, yes, okay. as a small, small skinks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I, am, I, 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 I happen to be one of the kings around, our yeah. kings around. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so, to answer your question yeah. about the Burundi diaspora yes, please. in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. A great majority of them are dynamic, yes, a progress and uh, patriotic. Okay. Yeah, they love Burundi oh. so much and cooperate with uh, the embassy in promoting the progressive values of our beloved C country. country. <laughs> I can see you are very proud <laughs> of your country. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh, so, okay, let, let, let's talk a little bit about those diasporas. Uh, mm. uh, what are some of the things that they are doing then? Mm. That's not part of our question, but I'm just shooting off. Yeah. So, because you said they are promoting, yeah. uh, you know, they are supportive mm. over your country mm. and uh, they are promoting the culture as mm. well. Mm. So, uh, so are there something more that they are doing, the, 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 uh, the, the, the Burundi diaspora, are there more to they are doing? They are adding to the economy of your country, isn't it? Yeah. yeah By yeah, the yeah. remittances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that uh, Burundi diaspora mm -hmm. uh, can invest back. Yeah. Invest in back. Burundi. Okay. And uh, encourage uh, from the Netherlands mm -hmm. and uh, elsewhere uh, to do in Europe to do to do so. You just uh, ask a question about um, uh, the, the vast mm -hmm. natural resources yes. of Burundi. Yeah. These natural resources belong to all the people of Burundi. It's true. Yeah. All the citizens of Burundi who tra truly love Burundi yeah. should organize themselves and invest in all sectors. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, on the national economy. They should work actively toward peace because they will need it. Yeah, we need it. Okay. Reconciliation and progress. Burundi diaspora uh, should not allow, this is a, uh, 
a cancer yeah. advice can, uh, yes. cancer. Yes. Burundi diaspora uh, should uh, not allow a few radical uh, politicians to be manipulated. Exactly. By the eternal force who come and destabilize the country. Exactly. Yeah, they should I'm, not allow that. Yeah, at yeah, all. yeah. I'm not agreeing. Yes. Burundi belong to all Burundian. <laughs> Indeed, belong to all Burundian. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, Burundi diaspora should join, join yes. and uh, contribute yes. to the inter-Burundi dialogue that the, government, that the government has organized for it. It's only Burundian who yes. can find a solution yes. to all the problem of Burundi and not foreign, as a few Burundian have in ignorance believed. Yes, this is so beautiful. So the government organized the yes. inter-Burundi yeah. dialogue. Yeah, now. So how is it, is it, uh, how is it done? Um, this is good. I'm interested in this. Yes, because uh, uh, after elections, yeah. when uh, they saw that uh, it was some, uh, some people Mm -hmm. who are not uh, agree with uh, maybe what happened yes uh, uh, especially with the election of uh, the president yeah they they come some uh, uh, destabilization yeah. by a, in a, a part of uh, population okay in uh, capital bujumbura okay and uh, the government talk that uh, what we have to do is to take all the population, mm -hmm. then make a dialogue inter Burundi. Okay, inter Burundi. Because uh, we have to know why every time after election or before election, yes. we have this kind of problem. Exactly. I so think it's peculiar with Africa. Yeah. It's peculiar with almost yeah. all African countries. Yeah. Yes, okay. So now. Mm -hmm. There is a, 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 a dialogue inter Burundi who yeah. uh, who is organized. The president uh, put in place a commission okay. to uh, to work okay. on it. Exactly. So now province by province, mm -hmm. they go. They uh, give some question. Mm -hmm. Then Burundian explain. Exp uh, talk. Yes. They everything just, yes. you think. Everything he. Uh, they feel like talking. Yeah. Yes. And those uh, kind of dialogue, yes. this kind of dialogue we uh, held inside Burundi, within Burundi, mm -hmm. even uh, out Burundi, uh, foreign yes. Burundi. Yes. So it will uh, need mm -hmm. all the diaspora mm -hmm. to take part. It's of, very important. Of this dialogue, dialogue. inter Burundi. Uh, yes. Because we are sure, we, are, we know, we are uh, already. Uh, this is beautiful. Uh, that uh, there is no, no people f uh, outside of Burundi come to bring us a solution. Yes. Only us. Only, only the Burundians can bring solution for themselves. Exactly. So if you are out there and then you are listening to this broadcast, this is 101 with Ambassador Vestin Mahima of uh, the Republic of Burundi. So we need you to give us a call on the studio line 023374160. In case you are listening from outside the Netherlands, remember it's uh, 0031 then 20 then 33 and especially for those of you who are diasporas, Burundian diasporas, your ambassador is here live on Majesty <laughs> TV. Feel free to give a call and interact with your own ambassador. Uh, and as well, participate in the inter-Burundi inter dialogue, which has been uh, established to allow you people air your views towards helping to build your own country. Thank you, Your Excellency. Mm. And um, we want to know a little bit about uh, your side attractions, eh? mm. the tourist attractions in um, in Burundi. Have you got any? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. All <laughs> right. So, so we want you to tell us a little bit of uh, uh, the areas that will be like uh, a tourist zones in, yeah, in yeah. Burundi. Yes, indeed. 
the uh, what can I say about this? Yeah, is that uh, the whole territory of Burundi mm -hmm. is a tourist attraction. Really? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Why? Of course. Okay, tell us then. <laughs> First of all, mm -hmm. Bujumbura, Bujumbura, the capital of uh, Burundi. Yes. Lives at the shore of the Great Lake Tanganyika, which run through Tanzania right up to Zambia. Oh, really? Yes. Then so that would be a very beautiful scene to see. Yes, 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 yes. The beautiful sand, beach, and the hotel. Yeah. Along the lake attract many, many, many tourists. Yeah, really? Yes. Oh, you're making me dream like going to Burundi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Once if you can open the city web of uh, Burundi yeah. or uh, tourism of Burundi, yeah. you have all the information. Uh -huh. Then you see everything. Uh, the Lake Tanganyika, yeah. a big lake, yeah. a beautiful lake with uh, water, yeah. uh, what, uh, sweet water. Okay. Not, not sweet, but even uh, salt. Salt no, water. No, mm -hmm. no, no. Uh, how to call it? Douce. Say the Lord douce. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I don't uh, remember also uh, to, uh, to tell you about the Great Tambo. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. of Gitega. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you can take me there. Let me, let me go and enjoy myself a little yes. bit. <laughs> On the site of the hill where the king took refuge during German occupation at. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit extraordinary cultural display by the original cultural dramas of Gitega. Really? Yeah. The yeah. king himself is, went uh, to go and take refuge somewhere. There is a, 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 a point mm -hmm. for tourists. They lack. There's no tourists who go Burundi without, without going to see there. I would like to see that place mm. too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yes. <laughs> what you are saying is that when the Germans went there, then the king himself had to go and hide somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and those, <laughs> I can imagine because uh, the, it was a long time I was not born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I, <laughs> it is never. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, Your Excellency, so is, are there so many other things you feel like uh, telling us? Yeah. Regarding uh, uh, your distance, because we are giving you at least two more minutes uh, to, uh, to do a promo pitch. If you are asked to do a promo pitch now for your country, can you tell us what are the things you're going to tell people why they have to come to Burundi? <laughs> I think I already told you about a lot of uh, many, many things, yes. many things I have. Yes. But uh, the last one, I have to tell you that uh, uh, the cultural basket, uh, the, I have to tell you that Burundi, mm -hmm. The, is the cultural basket of Africa laying at the very heart of Africa. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that Burundi yeah. is indeed Africa in miniature. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. We call uh, Burundi is the heart of, is in of, the heart of, of Africa. Africa. Yeah. Even if you can uh, 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 show me the, 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 the map. The map I of can Africa. Show, yeah, I can show it. Wow, yeah, so we're on the, yeah. Burundi is really at the heart. In African miniature. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so I have to tell you that uh, journey to Burundi yeah. will satisfy, can satisfy every tourist's curiosity yes. about all the best about Africa. Yes, I think so too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's Come to the, I have to conclude by saying, Yeah. Come to the land of the talking drums. Yeah. The sleeping lake. The sleepy talking drums, yes. And the smiling hills. The smiling hearts. He hills. <laughs> hills. The smiling hills. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because he had too much hills. Yeah. A beautiful one. Very, very, mm. very beautiful. Yeah. 
Oh, it is so. You're making me feel like going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So if you if you are here and you want to take your vacation, yeah. please remember that you can go to Burundi as well and uh, enjoy your vacation with your family. Yes. Your Excellency, thank you so much. You know you have done so wonderful. You know you said you are from French speaking country. Yeah. And uh, and and then you you say oh my English but look your English came out perfectly. Oh, oh your excellency. <laughs> you, <laughs> you wanted to deny us this good information we had now. Yeah. Wow. So if you are listening to this uh, broadcast please know that uh, it has been 101 with uh, her excellency uh, the ambassador of Burundi to the Netherlands ambassador Vestin Nahima. And you also have to understand that uh, she is from a French-speaking country. She has really done her best to tell us everything we need to know about Burundi and her own uh, government in English. Let's just applaud Her Excellency, please. Let me applaud her. She really, really, really did. <laughs> she really, really did fine. Thank you, Her Excellency. Before we sign up, yeah. is there anything you want to just look into the camera and say to your citizens mm -hmm. who you are representing, who yeah. come to rule over here? Yeah. Can you look into the camera and say something to them? Yeah, I have to tell them uh, I wish uh, to all Burundians who are here to uh, to feel free. Okay. To to think about uh, their loved country, which is Burundi. Yes. Yeah, we are here to facilitate everything for everybody yes. who want to uh, to enjoy yes. our best yes. country, yes. which is uh, in. Uh, Heart yes. of Africa. The heart of Africa. <laughs> the, that, that Burundi is the heart, the miniature of Africa. God bless you, Your uh, Excellency. Thank you for being with us. We have enjoyed you and we hope you will come again and again. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you so thank much. You. Thank you. Well, if you have listened to this broadcast, we hope that you just stick around because we have so many other broadcasts coming your way. Should you want to replay, on this broadcast, please go to the website of Majesty Christian Television Network, which is www.majestytv.org. You will quickly see Ambassador Nahima showing her photo. Click on that photo and then um, you can play back this broadcast. Thank you for joining us today and God richly bless you. Bye.